This video is to further describe some of the characteristics of useful information. So these are coming from one of the FASBs that talks about when you should be able to post an entry or when it is um, time to post that entry. Uh, however, we're going to adapt those for how to determine whether or not information is useful to the organization. So let's use the example of we are trying to do an analysis of bad debt expense. So relevant means the things that you need to be able to decide. And sometimes when describing these characteristics, it is easier to talk about things that are not this characteristic first and then talk about uh, items that are, um, that are accurate or reflect that characteristic. So first, for relevant, is it something that we could use for this decision? So for our bad debt example, most likely our accounts payable balances are not relevant. However, our accounts receivable balances are relevant. Our sales, could, sales especially sales on credit, would be relevant, whereas uh, our inventory amounts are not relevant to helping make that decision on a bad debt allocation. Reliable, so no errors or bias. So if we were given a report of customer balances, but yet they had the wrong number of due day, uh, days past due, so we could not make an accurate decision, that information is not reliable. We're as if all the dates were correct, all the amounts were correct, you would have reliable information. Complete, so does, is all the information there? So once again, going back to our bad debt, if we received a report or a spreadsheet that only, that was missing some customers, or especially our large customers, we would have incomplete information. Where if we had a complete list of all customers that have balances, our information would be complete. Timely. Was this information given in a timely manner? So we want to make an adjustment for the quarter end. So if we received information that was over 30 days old, this would be non-timely. We want probably want yesterday's balances, or better yet, today's. So we want information that is timely. If we're not getting that in a timely manner, then trying to make a decision is going to be more difficult. Understandable. Uh, if I was given a report that had customer balances, but it had no headings and had several dollar amounts, but uh, we couldn't really tell what it was, that type of report would be non, uh, not understandable. Whereas if it was laid out nicely, had maybe the customers with the largest balances or the ones that were most overdue towards the top, everything was labeled, it is understandable. The next one is verifiable. So if uh, two knowledgeable people, so two accountants, were told, were given the methodology to calculate the bad debt expense and were given the report, could they each produce the same information? Or if they were given the database, could they come up with the same results in the report? If not, we have a situation where uh, the information isn't really verifiable. So, um, and that could lead to a lot of the other things. Could it be um, non-reliable information, et cetera? And the last one is accessible. So if uh, the computer system is out in the middle of the day, uh, especially during a month-end closing or a critical time, it is not accessible. So now you cannot have a system up and running 24-7, 365. Uh, that just doesn't work. Uh, systems need to be taken down for um, 
maintenance and things like that, but it's usually done at an off time. So when users are really needing it, is that information system available so they can get that data. Another good example would be if Blackboard went down uh, during finals week, when professors are entering grades, when we're giving tests via Blackboard, that would be unaccessible. Well, I hope this helped give you a little better understanding of useful information.